In this video, we will review the anatomy of the female reproductive system and the associated structures. Starting from the external genitalia, you can see the labia majora, the labia minora, the clitoris, the mons pubis, and the pubic symphysis. You can also see in this model the urethra, the urinary bladder, the vagina, the cervix, and the uterus. Note the tubal structures here referred to as the fallopian tubes. The red finger-like projections found at the ends of the fallopian tubes are called fimbrae, which surround each ovary. Even though they appear to be attached in this model, the fimbrae are not attached to the ovary. You can see some major blood vessels in the abdominal cavity. The aorta, the common iliac artery, the external iliac artery, and the internal iliac artery. In addition, you can see the inferior vena cava and the external iliac vein. Note that this model does not show the internal iliac vein. As we look more closely at the uterus, you can see it is made up of three parts. We have the fundus, which is the upper rounded part of the uterus, and you can also see the body and the cervix. Internally, the uterus has identifiable layers. This model gives good representation of the endometrium and the myometrium. The opening to the cervix, indicated here, is referred to as the cervical os. Notice that the cervix connects to the vagina, which is lined with rugae, which allows for expansion of the vagina during intercourse and childbirth. There are three openings in the female pelvic cavity. The urethra, which leaves the urinary bladder, the vagina, and the anus which is the external opening of the rectum.